So um, I'm really excited to, to talk about uh, some of the new innovations and some of the, the new technologies we, we're, we've been working on and the, the entire industry. Uh, and as Steve said, if, if anyone does know Akamai, our mission is about making the internet faster, safer, scalable, um, and more secure. Uh, and, and did I say faster? So yeah. Uh, so uh, with that, I'm going to talk about images. Um, images are uh, a lot, getting a lot of uh, coverage and a lot of interest. Uh, they're a very hot topic uh, in this, this last few years, and for a very good reason. Uh, images are, does anyone not know HTTP Archive, by the way? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, okay, great. So uh, images, for a very good reason. 61% uh, of page bytes or page weight is images, 65% when you look at mobile. They are constantly growing at a rate of 30% year over year. And this is the image size, so you look, so it's not the number of images, actually images themselves are just becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, so there is much to gain just by optimizing images. Uh, but yet, when you look at what images we're using, uh, for lossless, it's mainly GIF and PNG, and for lossy, it's JPEG. Uh, all technologies that were invented over 15 years ago, and I tend to believe that in this last 15 or 17 years, technologies got better. Um, and, but so far, we didn't have any new innovation or any new format that really won. There were a few trials, and supporting a new image is really hard. And, and again, Nilia posted about that a, a while ago. Uh, I mean, you look at the number of browsers, and, and there are some of them even uh, the segmentation within them. So it's not only the market share. You, want, you get a new format. How do you get all of them to support it? How do you support different versions while you're getting there, while the market is getting support? Do you support all browsers or not? Uh, well, it's, it's hard to maintain so many flavors, but we're actually doing some of that because uh, when you look at responsive web design and responsive images, and there are a bunch of tracks talking about standard image optimization within the existing formats, we are already maintaining a bunch of versions. So, so if we're already doing it, then it's definitely worth to try. And in the last few years, you can see two big uh, uh, standards are popping up. One is WebP, proposed by Google. Uh, actually started around 2010, but uh, really caught up in 2011. And JPEG XR, which started with different names from Microsoft with some standards. Uh, again, started first that were around 2006, but the standard JPEG X XR uh, at 2009. And, and the benefit there is obvious. I mean, you get more than 15 years of, of technology uh, that you can take advantage of. Uh, it's a single format. Each, each one of these formats supports both lossless and lossy supports alpha transparency, and, and again, one new uh, feature here is you can support transparency on loss, lossy, um, lossy image format, which is, again, a new opportunity, a new win. You don't, if you want transparent images, you don't need to pay the toll of having a lossless compression with, with these formats. And I'm, I'm excited to, to announce that this week we actually launched uh, support on Akamai for these two fo uh, image formats. Uh, on top of our standard image optimization. So when someone is, uh, when we're delivering images, we can detect the specific browsers and save, serve them on that. Now, when doing that, besides the fun that, it, that we had uh, working on and getting all of that to work in the last uh, month uh, and t testing that, I wanted to share some, some insights. And obviously, uh, within this talk, I'm, I'm, I won't be able to get to all of that, so we will share uh, a lot more insights, blogging and, and in, in post following up uh, by the end of this year. Uh, so how do you measure improvement? Uh, so one thing we do, th there are a bunch of other benchmark out there, but and, and you can see that pretty consistency, both WebP and JPEG XR are showing tremendous improvements over both JPEG and PNG. Now what we did for that, we ran just, we scanned the top 100 sites, um, uh, and we scanned the homepage, downloaded all the images. Uh, we wanted to compare to JPEG, so we eliminated all those that had transparency in them because JPEG that do does not support it. And we wanted also to compare them versus the specific uh, image quality. So how do you compare different types of optimization that each one has different parameters? Uh, there are different metrics to do that. We were using DSSIM, which basically said how far the image is from the original one. 
uh, lower numbers are better. So 0 0.05 is a higher quality. And we can see that pretty consistently, consistent, consistently uh, both WebP and JPEG XR are showing good improvements. Uh, one, one thing to, to note is that uh, not every image is actually saying that uh, probably over 90% of the images are showing tremendous improvement, but there are like 5% or sometimes a little less where actually JPEG was performing better. So when you're creating this optimization and you are optimizing it, it's, it's, it's easy. You already rendered the image replacing the JPEG you had. You can compare, is it actually smaller? If not, ser serve the, the, the JPEG. Um, so, uh, and what, one, one, one additional thing you can see is that JPEG XR is a little, the, the compression is not as strong. Uh, WebP gets uh, better numbers, but still uh, about 30% improvement from different measurements. Again, we saw around 30. Uh, there are some other measurements showing 30 something. Um, so still a great win. Uh, and it's not only the size. Uh, I mean, the size obviously uh, in, uh, impacts the time it takes to load a page. So showing again uh, on Chrome with JPEG and with WebP or, or IE10 with a, whoops, uh, with a, someone is persistent here, uh, no. Uh, so, uh, so again, you can see that the page actually shows better. You can see that images, images are very visible on a page. So you make the images load faster, the experience automatically becomes better. Uh, but it's not only size that matters. Uh, um, when talking about, there is the notion of perceived performance. So progressive images, uh, and, and it's again, uh, Pat Meenan was talking about that and a lot of other blogs in the last year or so, uh, talking about progressive images where you actually get the image gradually better. Uh, instead of uh, showing from the top to bottom, you, you actually see a, a not high resolution and gradually it becomes better and better. Uh, so the perceived performance, you see something filling up the page and, and a second later it suddenly the, the image becomes on a high quality, so it does matter. And JPEG XR supports that where WebP does not, so maybe it's a little bigger, uh, but, but you can get uh, theoretically something better. Now, this result is not JPEG XR versus uh, WebP, just progressive versus baseline. Uh, as a side note, we're, we're running uh, a lot of tests, but not enough. Uh, I didn't yet see a case where JPEG XR showed dramatically improvement versus WebP, even though it's progressive, but uh, it might be due to our due, due to different uh, version. It's also the challenge here is that one is supported by IE and one is supported by Chrome, uh, so it might be the browser. So I mean, it's great news. Let's all go and do our website WebP and support WebP and JPEG XR. I mean, why not? And well, it's not that simple. I mean, when you look at the support matrix, it goes back to can you support that? Can you just drop JPEG and, and go all in on one of them? Well, WebP support is supported on Chrome and on Opera and on Android. Uh, JPEG XR on Windows, IE 10 and up, uh, and Windows Mobile 8. Uh, the good thing is actually their overlap. There is no overlap, so you can support both and, and get more coverage. So when you look at that, uh, these are the browsers that support. Again, officially you'll see that IE9, but IE9 support of, of JPEG XR is a little uh, annoying. Uh, and Chrome, again, officially since 9, but, but you should think of it as 23 and up. Um, so you, you, you get a fairly good market share overall. You get about 50% of the browsers out there of the traffic out there that can support that. So it's definitely worth thinking and investing and, and doing that. Now some, some other points to think of when, when you're going there is Facebook went in April and went all in on WebP. Uh, customers were, their end users were very, very frustrated. There are some issues on interoperability that, that are getting better. Uh, you want to share a link if you're doing it, uh, you, you need to think how you share a link because if you're sharing a link with a .webp, and the other user is watching it from an IE browser, he will be quite frustrated because he will see this annoying logo that the link is broken or the image is not supported. Uh, or you can save as an originally uh, standard uh, uh, browsers didn't support that and even Chrome when you were doing that, it, this was fixed. But if you save as an image and send it by email, so images are, are very engaging and people like to share them. So you should think about that, you may want to override that with a JavaScript proper or something like that. Uh, so for summary, 
Uh, some takeaways, again, there is much to gain by doing that. We're seeing huge uh, performance improvement. Uh, so it's worth the effort of doing the support check. Is the browser there or not? You can support it by the browser. You can support it on the server side. Uh, there are a bunch of ways, and, and we can, we're planning to blog about some of that. Uh, one needs to apply this with care. Again, you need to verify what is the browser supporting that or not. How do you share that? How do you optimize for that? And, and before you're just putting uh, one of them, see which one is better. Is, is JPEG actually better or not? Uh, inter interoperability comes in many flavors. Uh, again, you need to think of how your users are actually going to use this image. If they're going to download and share it, if they're going to send links, you may want to wrap that or not. Uh, and again, size is not the only thing that matters. I'm, I'm sure that the smart guys at Google are working on, on making WebP progressive or taking advantage of that uh, without the penalty of increasing the, uh, the, the image size. Uh, but uh, again, there is much to come. And we will share a lot of more insights about tools on how to create that and how to build that uh, on the performance calendar and some other blogs that we'll blog from Akamai. Uh, on, on the lessons we learned and, and, and other cool tricks we found while doing that. And that's it. This is me, and you can talk to me whenever you want. <laughs>